Russian President Vladimir Putin signed decrees to annex four Ukrainian regions during a ceremony Friday. The Moscow-backed leaders of Donetsk, Luhansk, Kherson and Zaporizhia were front and center as Putin proclaimed formal Russian rule over their regions. They have chosen to be with their people, to be with the motherland, to live its destiny, to win together with it. The speech drew an immediate and forceful response from Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. All the territory of our country will be liberated from this enemy, not only of Ukraine, but of life, humanity, law and truth. Russia knows this already. The four regions make up 18 percent of Ukrainian territory, and Russia's claim is the biggest annexation in Europe since World War II. It comes after days of voting and referendums that the international community has called a sham. The illegal referenda that Russia held in Ukraine and the purported annexations of Ukrainian territory by force are a violation of the UN Charter and international law. In the UN Security Council, Russia vetoed a resolution condemning the Moscow-backed votes. The U.S. drafted resolution got 10 votes in favor. China was among four members who abstained, leaving Russia as the sole veto vote. In the U.S., President Joe Biden warned the Russian leader against making any threat to NATO territory. America is fully prepared with our NATO allies to defend every single inch of NATO territory. Every single inch. So, Mr. Putin, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. The U.S. also pledged another $12 billion in security aid to Ukraine and unveiled new sanctions against top Russian officials. Officials warned of severe financial costs for anyone who supports the Kremlin's annexation. Meanwhile, the cost for civilians continues to rise. At least 30 people were killed and almost 100 wounded in a Russian missile strike on a Ukrainian convoy on the edge of Zaporizhia, an answer Ukraine says to battlefield momentum shifting in Kyiv's favor. Yes, this is an answer to our army's successes in the Kharkiv region. Friday's successes near Liman and impotent transfer from the Russian army. But at the Kremlin on Friday, during the grand ceremony to proclaim Russia had annexed parts of eastern Ukraine, Putin repeated his threat to use any means necessary, which would include an arsenal of nuclear weapons, to defend Moscow's hold over the territory. Craig Boswell, TRT World.